Let me show you how you too can automate the provisioning of virtual machines within VMware in under two minutes. Let's go. First, let's take a look at our VMware Ansible collections and select VMware Ops. The VMware Ops collection includes a variety of Ansible roles and playbooks you'll want to use to manage your VMware environments. Here you can see where you can access the Git repository as well as the different roles in how to manage your VMware VMs such as provision VM, system settings, cluster settings, and many more. Our focus today is on the provision VM role so that we can make it super easy to create VMs whenever we need them. Switching to the vSphere client, we see I have a VMware Explorer folder and one VM labeled AAP running our AAP environment. And within our AAP templates, I have a provision VMs job template that will allow me to create those VMs I need taking advantage of the provision via playbook I created and filling out some simple variables such as what I want to name my VM and where it should reside. Now all I have to do is create that VM and simply launch it. Now what exactly is in that provision VM playbook that allowed me to do this? Well, it's really just a playbook that takes advantage of that provision VM role. Remember the one from earlier? By taking advantage of that role, all I need to do is specify my variable values, and just like that, I can provision as many VMs as I need. With the job now running, we wait for the completion of the job, and then we can switch to the vSphere client and see the newly created VMware Explorer demo VM is up and running. Let's launch the remote console, and there you have it, a newly deployed RHEL 9 VM ready to run your workloads.